Welcome back to the channel. Today we got something uh, new to work on, a new project. Um, I bought it last week. Uh, it's got a few minor issues and um, let's see if we can't get them fixed. It's, uh, it's uh, 2004, I believe it is, 72 inch cut Toro Z Master commercial with a 27 horsepower um, Kawasaki liquid cooled engine. So let's see what kind of fun we can get into today. So stay tuned. Okay, the reason we're gonna get into this thing is um, it had a few issues when I first got it. Um, there was a pulley that was destroyed on it and I didn't notice it at the time. And I tried cutting some grass with it, you know. And um, that lasted all about 10 minutes until the belt blew up. Um, I have since got parts for it and a uh, new belt and new pulleys and uh, some other things. And uh, tried cutting the grass again. And uh, I noticed that uh, it does this. If you notice, there's a right up in here. There's a, like a scalp area, and then it goes higher here, and then it scalps again. You can see it does a up and down kind of thing. Now when I cut the grass, I go down, and then I come back, and then I go down, and I come back. So that tells me that the deck is um, not sitting quite level as it should. You can see more of it over here on the longer stretches, like right in through here, it's all down, cut low, and then it goes up, and then it's down again. You see the darker, and then it goes up again, and it goes down, and it's all, you know, on the paths that I do, up and down as I cut. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to uh, um, fix that. So let's get some tools, let's get this ready, get it all set up and uh, we'll get into this. All right, well, uh, we need to uh, clean out the shed a little here so I have a flat surface um, it's the only flat surface I have around here to uh, actually uh, do the measurements needed to straighten out the deck. Uh, as if I don't have enough projects to do, and I took on another one. This one, this is my uh, mower that I've been taking to the property. And uh, yeah, it's got uh, some problems too. Um, let's see if I can get around to the other side and show you. First of all, it seems to have sprung some sort of leak. Um, oil is coming out of the engine. And uh, it's not a good thing. On top of that, if you look here, you see that? That's a piece of wire sticking in the tire. These brand new tires I just put on there, I got a hole in it. I didn't notice this wire until I got back home. Uh, so I don't know how long it's been in there. Um, I didn't want to pull it out because the tire would go flat, of course. So, uh, yeah, another project. So let's get all this stuff moved out of here and uh, um, see if we can't get the other one all fixed up and running. Come on now. There we go. Oh yeah. Let's 
see if we can get this floor all swept up. I think I got a broom in here. Yeah, I sure do. I'm gonna sweep all this dirt into that oil. See if we can't dry it up a little. All right, let's go get the mower. Snug fit for sure. I think I gotta get more stuff out of here. Yeah, I got this thing at a pretty good price. Um, $2,500. All right, let's get her back in here. Are you a happy dog? Yeah, you a happy dog, huh, Maggie? Yes, you are. You're so happy. You're always happy. Okay, you gotta move. You gotta move. Look out. Let's try this again. I did download a manual for this thing. I don't know how well it's going to pick up on that. But uh, there's a service manual. We're gonna get into where it talks about the deck. Uh, that would be section seven. Yeah, that's the belt. Look how long that thing is. I don't know how well you can see that. Yeah. $200 for that stupid thing. Okay, I think I found it. Leveling the mower at three positions. Setting up the machine. And yeah, disengage. Check tire pressure of all four tires if needed. Adjust to 13 PSI. Okay, let's do that first. Now we got all the tires at the right pressure. Let's get into the next step. Lower this down to three inch. Three inch. Okay. All the chains feel about the same. That's good. Now it says that should be 11 and a half inches here at three inches. It's 10 and a half. Let's get these both to 11 and a half. Spinnies, and we'll be there. Mm 
Mm, too much. Eleven and a half. Okay, what's next? Let's see what it says. I need my eyeballs. This thing that sucks about getting old. I need eyeballs. All right. Lower the mower to three inch height of cut position. We got that check. Spec the four chains. The chains have to have need to have tension. Okay. Good. There's a little bit of tension on that one. Almost none on that one. Because this wheel is on the ground. Oh boy. All right. So we got to do something about that. Is this wheel on the ground? Heck no. That's way up in here. So that tells me this deck is way out of whack. Let's get these wheels out of the way. Try again. All right, got tension. We got tension. That's off the ground. We barely got tension. We got tension. So this one might be out of whack a little. Okay, all the wheels are off the ground. Alright, all the chains got the same amount of tension on them. Now it says what? I don't know, can't see it. it says, it says sit down. Okay. Talks about one chain's loose, what to do. Position the right side blade side to side. Measure the right blade at B. So the outside should be at, this measurement needs to be three and an eighth to three and a quarter on the outside, okay. Three and an eighth to three and a quarter. Now I got this here. This is actually uh, three inches exactly this way. But we'll measure it like it says, as soon as I find tape measure, right here. Let's see what it is. We gotta position, position all the blades right. Okay, those are the same. This is supposed to be three. Can't even get in here to measure this. We are at two inches. That's supposed to be three and an eighth to three and a quarter. That's two inches. That's way off. Well, how do we adjust that? I ain't gonna get that adjustment that they're talking about. That's pretty far off. That's what this one is. What is this one at? That is just under three. Two and seven eighths. Seven eighths of an inch out. Not liking that. Not liking that at all. Let's check the chassis, make sure the chassis is sitting where it needs to sit. 
This looks like a common spot. 15 inches. Oh my lord. Well, um, GoPro strikes again. As I was putting this to be back together and leveling the deck all out, um, the GoPro overheated. Didn't know it shut off. So there's no footage of me finishing the leveling job on this. So, uh, I didn't know this until I went to edit the video. So what I had to do, basically, is I had to move this down to this hole here. I had to run this jam nut all the way up to the top. I had to adjust these to adjust the front on the correct pitch that it called for. This is now 11 and a half inches apart like it's supposed to. I had to do the same thing on the other side. Over here, this jam nut is almost all the way up. It's not as quite as high as the other side. But yeah, I got her all leveled out and uh, she looks a lot straighter. Before, when you sit in front here, like this, when you sat here like this, I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up, but this side here was lower. You could clearly see it was lower. And now if you look at it, it looks pretty straight across with the mower. And I did do a test run and I ran up and down here. I ran down and then I backed up and then moved over to here and ran down again. And I checked the overlap to see if there was any taller grass in there. And as you can see, there is none taller. It is all the same height. So the next time I go to use this, we should be good. Should be, I say. We'll see. But as it stands right now, it looks like I got it right. So again, if you like this content, click the thumbs up button. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you want to see. Maybe there's something different you want to see. I'm always doing something. I'm open to ideas. Um, if you want to click the subscribe button, that would be great too. So, um, yeah, weird outros, gotta love them. <laughs>